Since I bought my Dell XPS 8940 with only 8 gigabytes of RAM, I wanted to install more. New from Dell, it would have come with 32 megahertz RAM running at 2933 with the Intel Core i7-10700. But what I received had the RAM replaced with a single stick of SK Hynix 2666 megahertz. I had a 4 gigabyte stick that I had pulled when upgrading my Dell Inspiron, and with that in there, the memory speed didn't change. When I bought two sticks of Patriot RAM locally and put it in, the memory slowed down slightly to 2400 megahertz. Recently, I found another local deal of 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance for sale, and thought if I replaced all the RAM in my XPS system with this, it would allow it to run faster, right? Well, as luck would have it, no. They work, but at a reduced speed of 2133 MHz. It looks like the faster profile is not compatible with my system, so it downclocks to the next higher speed profile. That's a bummer. As I'm not a gamer, I'm not certain what the downside of the lower clock speed would be for me, but as I mainly tax the system rendering videos, I try one of my test files. The 5 minute 1080p 60fps video turns out rendering in 3 minutes and 25 seconds. I decided to just pull the Corsair RAM out and see what of the stuff I pulled out before I could get to work at 2666MHz. I confirmed again that the SK Hynix RAM modules play well together, and if the Patriot memory is in there by itself, it also works at 2666MHz. To see what impact faster RAM, albeit only 16GB, has on video rendering, I completed another test run and it finishes very close to the last test at 3 minutes and 24 seconds. When I go back to putting any of the SK Hynix in with the Patriot memory though, the RAM is downclocking again to 2400 MHz, which is still faster than the Corsair modules. It still doesn't seem to impact render time by much if any at all. Completing a render of the test project with the mixed RAM finishes in 3 minutes and 28 seconds. I'm not certain what to do with the Corsair RAM just now, but I do have an upcoming project that may be able to run it at the lower speed. Until then, it can sit on the shelf with other items I have to do something with soon. There you have it, another adventure in owning a pre-built system. I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of it either. That's it for today's video. I hope that it wasn't terrible.